Hi, my name is Jonathan Koch. I'm an EMI application engineer. Today I'm going to be talking about our new Electra software with you. Here on my right side we have an uh, amplifier rack configured with also a signal generator and a power sensor running a simple BCI type setup. We're using this uh, rack in conjunction with our Electra software. Uh, Electra software is built a lot on the principles of EMC32, but it's expanded to a database approach. In Electra you have a dashboard where you can pin things to the dashboard for easy use and uh, to find them easier. Uh, Electra also uses a simple hardware setup. This is a BCI hardware setup we're using with a signal generator, power sensors, and amplifiers that you would typically see for BCI testing. After that, I can go back to the dashboard and then open up the test by hitting the play button. Electra's dashboard makes it really easy for you to access those tests. Once I'm in the test mode, I can just hit the play button to begin the test. And you'll see the test will begin running. This test is currently running from 50 megahertz to 100 megahertz during a BCI test. As the test begins to level up, you'll begin to hear an audio signal because we're doing an AM modulated test. We'll hit OK to enter amplifier and to operate. As the test is conducting, it's generating the uh, EMI and the AM modulation within the wire that's picked up by the speakers. You'll, you'll hear the audio signal begin. As it steps along the frequencies, it's taking a 6 dB step down and then leveling back up to full level. As it begins testing and going through the intermediate frequencies, the signal begins to not be audible anymore. As you get back into the 80 to 85 megahertz range, you'll begin to hear the audio tone again as it levels up. Between each step, it's taking that 6 dB down and leveling back up. Now you can begin to hear the audio tone again as we enter here the 80 and 90 megahertz range. And it'll sweep all the way to 100 megahertz and then, then the test will be completed. This is the last tone here. And then the software will prompt us to put the amplifier back in standby mode. Uh, then you can take your graphs here on the y-axis with a right click and an auto scale. You can scale the, the power to see your injected forward power. For more information, please contact us at our new website, exploreemc.com.